We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Oh, and a good curveball gets him swinging for the first out of the evening. Here's Will Myers. Prior history in this matchup. He's got five base hits and 17 at-bats. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Chopper to short. Story scoops it up. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Stepping up now, Tommy Pham. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 3 2 pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to Murphy, he'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Now batting, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one two. Ball inside. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Tatis is there for route number one. Riding into the box, Daniel Murphy. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Now the catcher wanted it down, and they got him to chase it for strike two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The 2 2 one more time. Is laid off and the count runs full. Nolan Arenado will be next. Hold high in the air out to right field. Myers is under it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Two out, nobody on. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Nope. And he lays off again, ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Dozier. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fly ball right down the line and left. Dahl's in pursuit. And he makes the catch in the corner. Stepping into the box, Manny Machado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Machado. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game.
belted high in the air out to left. Racing back the left fielder, still ranging back. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, Brian Dozier. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Line to the right side, but foul. Padres an early 1-0 lead here in the second. In tight with the slider, 2-2. Two and two. Popped him up. Nunez is right there. And there's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Josh Naylor. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Naylor. A 1-1. Is a ball below the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Ground ball right into the shift. And Murphy will just take this one himself, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. David Dahl to the plate now. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And there's one away. Is set to get his evening at the plate started. Trevor Story batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Now the payoff pitch home. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. That is back. The second base At the plate, Garrett Hampson. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Runners off for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Wow the pitching staff has to love this one right. They were down one and with one swing of the bat they're up two. What a turnaround in this one. Standing in now Kyle Freeland. Two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two and two. Three runs already home here. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. 
Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-1 one home. Is looked at for ball number two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Into the box, Daniel Murphy, right side. Dozier gets to it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Standing in, Francisco Mejia, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Three and one to him now. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. It'll be a leadoff single. The pitcher, number 43, Garrett. Into the box now. Garrett Richards got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down. Make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The center fielder. A man at second with one down, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. Now the one and one pitch. Third inning here. Three to one our score. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. He's got it, and there are two down now. So striding forward now, Will Myers, runner in scoring position with two gone. The 1 1. It is taken for strike two. Still one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again, Nolan Arenado. He'll start things out against Garrett Richards as we get the inning underway. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be troubled. On his way to second is Blackman. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now batter. To the plate now, David Dahl. Hit hard on the ground at first. Reined in. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So a man at third here with two gone. And in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning.
leading off the inning, Tommy Pham. And they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Now back. Fernando Tatis. In now, Fernando Tatis Jr. In there, now the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Pham stands at second with no outs. This one's down to third. Gloved by Arenado. And a good throw gets him one gun. In now, Manny Machado. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Dahl is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman Brian Dozier. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted into center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Here we go. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pham is camped under this one. One down. Ready now, Dom Nunez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. In time to first, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. Up next, the Denver area native pitcher Kyle Freeland. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Ligaris. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Josh Naylor. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and two now. Two straight. A little low. It's two and two. Now here it comes. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. Around first. He's digging for second. And the Friars are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. Now batting. The catcher. Francisco. So now to the plate. Francisco Mejia. A ball and two strikes. Hits are now even at four apiece. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, Garrett Richards. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. 1-1. One, one. He's in there for strike number two. Heading out towards shallow right. Blackman is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The center field. Man at second seven. here with two away. Four. And that'll bring up a former Lagares. gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball two. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Right to him. 
throw to Murphy will take care of him and that will end the inning. Ready for another shot now. Rymel Tapia. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rock. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Myers going back. Still going back. Gone! At the plate now, Daniel Murphy. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Andres Munoz will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. Fastball called strike, one and two. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Count still at one and two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 oh, count, Hater caught too much of the zone. He'll try again, one, two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. He stays alive, still two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Arenado is retired and there's one away. Now with the play, Charlie Blackman. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one ball and two strikes to count. Four runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Rip down the first base line. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. So first and second with one man gone. And into bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The 3-1 and one pitch takes a strike for a full count now, 3-2. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The next 3-2. Lifted in the air to right field. Myers is after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. At the plate, Trevor Story. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him. Especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Number one. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Machado is there. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So here's Will Myers. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Stepping in, Tommy Pham. He's one for two in the ball game. Tommy. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pham connects and sends it to deep left field. Into the bleachers and gone. Into the box now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Drilled to first, gloved by Murphy, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Here's Manny Machado now. Two runs, five hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And that's outside, he lost him ball four. Brian Dozier at the plate, he's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Brian Dozier. A 1 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Line toward the alley in left center. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner at third with two gone. To the plate now, Josh Naylor. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get through into right as he comes up in the clutch. It's a base hit. And the second run will score as that lead has evaporated. It's now a tie game for a piece. Jairo Diaz will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. In now, Francisco Mejia hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Tapia is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Settling in now, Dom Nunez. He'll open it up in the Colorado sixth. Here now the 2-2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pham arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Josh Fuentes will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hits are even at seven apiece. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. That's close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Got a full count. Three, two. Three, two pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. 
In now for Colorado, Rymel Tapia. He's two for three with a home run and a double. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He pulls this one into right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. At the plate now, Daniel Murphy, high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Coming in is Ligaris. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Carlos Estevez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 54. Eric Hosmer is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. That's popped up. Story onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Juan Ligaris. He was a ground out victim last time up. Two and two. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Okay. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. The right Digging in now for San Diego. Will Myers. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The one two. A bouncer up the middle. Story brings it in. In the dirt. And oh, he can't quite dig it out. Now back. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Looking up is Dahl. A two-run shot that gives them the lead. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. grounded down the third baseline. And the Friars won't let up as this ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll get in there safely. The third base of the third team. Manny Machado. So now to the plate, Manny Machado. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. Still a ball and two strikes. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Tapia will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Jose Castillo is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Here's Nolan Arenado. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Here's another one, too. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. 
usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nolan Arenado is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. This is in the air out to right field. Myers is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Standing in, David Dahl. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. 2 and 1 to David Dahl. To 2 and 2 now. Here it comes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Up with it, Mejia. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Wade Davis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 71. Here's Brian Dozier now. The one two fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Digging in, Josh Naylor, two for three with a double on his line so far. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Davis will take charge himself out there, and there's two down. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. He flew out in his last at bat. This will be fouled away. The 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Two two into right field. That's a base hit. Greg Garcia will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Greg Garcia. Fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. And he watches a cold third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. Emilio Pagan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 14. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Fouled away. Two two. Here it is. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Left fielder looking up into the bleachers and out of here. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson lays off two and two now. 
So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Now batting, catcher, Yaw. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Sam Hilliard will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Two out, nobody on. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ryan Shaw enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. The 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in, Will Myers. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A one and two count to Will Myers. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. High in the air into shallow left center. Coming in is Dahl. He makes the running play. Two down. So striding in, Tommy Pham. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at-bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. One and two now. Now here's the pitch. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. Matt Strom comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 55. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Rymel Tapia already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. 2-2 Two -two pitch is fouled away. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy. Squaring to bunt, but this is a foul ball. Strum, 28 years old. He was a 21st round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now the 2 1 pitch. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Peter Mooney will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. At the plate now, Charlie Blackman. That's lifted the other way out to left. Fam will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Into the box now, David Dahl, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 
the set and the 2 1. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the rosin bag if you throw it up there. Three and two, full count. Last strike now for Colorado. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And the throw to first will take care of him as the tying run will be left stranded at second base. This ball game is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end 6-5 to five the final. The San Diego Padres jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Andres Munoz claims the win out of the pen his first. Matt Strom closes the door for the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Six runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Rockies, five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.